Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at a do while loop in C++. So here I have a simple program that has a variable for a string called my input and our program is going to ask the player for a cookie and then we get that using get line and C in so what the user types in gets assigned to my input. So right now it'll only run once Right, if I run it, it says give me a cookie and I type in anything and it comes down and it says yum cookie. But we want it to keep looping over and over again until the user types in the text string cookie. Now we've done other examples with other while loops but this one's going to demonstrate a do while loop. So a do while loop is going to do something first, then do the condition check before it runs the loop again. So in this example, we want it to do something first, so I'm going to say do, and then I'm going to have a set of opening and closing curly braces. So in this do while loop, the first part is done first. After it does that, then we put in while and our condition check. So we'll say while my input is not equal to the text string cookie. And I can get rid of those curly braces that my program automatically put in. So this is the reverse of a regular while loop that we looked at in other examples. So this is going to occur first before any condition is evaluated. Once it does this one time, then it's going to do this condition check and determine whether it needs to come back up and run this do part again. So now if I clear my code down here and I run it, it says give me a cookie and I'll put in something that is not equal right and it came down here to evaluate and said soda is not equal to a cookie so then it comes back up and it ran this do part again so now if I run it again with gum it is true gum is not equal to cookie so then it comes back up and it says give me a cookie again and it'll keep going until eventually you type in the string that it's looking for which is cookie and then it exits out of the while loop. So when my input is not equal to cookie, it will keep doing this, but when it does, it makes this false, then it doesn't run this again, and then it exits out of this looping structure and continues down with the C out statement. So with do while loop, sometimes it's easier when you're setting things up to have a this is a post-test loop in where the condition is evaluated after the instructions for the loop are processed. So this is a post-test loop. This will run at least one time before being checked. And then if this evaluates to true, it will keep running this over and over again. When it becomes false, it will end the loop. So that's an example of a do-while loop.